Love yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing. No such thing. Sometimes the truth that hurts and I'm not Good morning. I'm on my way to Orange Theory and today I'm grateful for a remote start for my car. I know remote start has been a thing, but y'all had an older car before and now I'm in a 2020 folk. Oh. But I love being able to warm my car up because it is freezing in DC. Literally freezing, below freezing. Um, so yeah, it's early morning, but I'm gonna get this workout in and yeah, that's about it. few moments later back from the workout showered and everything the silk press is still it's pretty intact i mean a lot of people are always asking me how do i not sweat my hair out y'all i really don't know maybe i'll go into that in another part of this video because i'm kind of in a rush right now but i am just amazed like it's a little bit more volume but i can work with this like i could still wear my hair down at least my outfit this top is from aritzia and i'm just wearing black slacks i'm wearing these loafers today i feel like i've been playing it very casual at work lately so i'm like let me balance it out with like a nice shoe instead of sneakers for once but anyway i'm about to head into the office and i will see you all whenever the next time i pick up this camera office i'm driving to work today and the reason i'm driving is because i have this big box of office supplies that i bought even though my job like they pretty much give us everything we need but it's not like my style like the only pens we have are black red and blue and what about the pinks what about the oranges the purples i wanted to just like give my office a bit more pizzazz i've kind of set the boundary that i'm not gonna film in the office at all but i thought i would just show you all some of the stuff that i got to decorate and then maybe you all can just envision the style that i have and honestly just seeing like all the stuff in my apartment you can tell i'm a very like colorful person so i just wanted to make my office a bit more like myself because i'm gonna be spending a lot of time there so why not make it cozy why not decorate and i basically got all this stuff off of amazon i got it for free because you can use like your amex points on amazon they should have never told me that because now i'm about to click anyway let me show you all what i got so first i got these like aesthetic highlighters cute cute because you know the highlighters i think i only have like an orange and yellow like the, this is just cuter okay we're gonna we're gonna girl it up in there okay then i got these crayola markers and they like click and i actually do use markers at work or my coworkers will use them to just help me understand some stuff like they draw diagrams and stuff so i think the colorful markers will be a big help i also got a rubik's cube i have a zen garden in my office already that i play with from time to time really not really but i feel like this rubik's cube will be good you know nice nice little fun little toy to have in there febreze i'm not even gonna say too much just I need some freeze in there. These are blue light glasses. I've actually ordered these before, maybe two times before. I have a pair in my apartment, but I wanted to just have a pair in my office. And they're really cute. They're like a little tortoise -y, oversized blue light glasses. And you know, when you're staring at the screen, you need these. Okay, this is a back pillow. I don't know if you all can see the ladies. It's like to go right there with your seat. Um, and yeah, because I do feel myself like hunching or like arching. So this is supposed to just be better for my posture. Another big thing is this is a footrest. I'm not about to open this right here. But this kind of goes, okay, there's a diagram on here. I don't know if y'all can see that. But like when you're sitting at a desk, you can like prop your feet on this, which I need the elevation. Like it's just way more comfortable that way. So I got a footrest. Then this is a pencil holder. But wait, let me... Because it's not just any pencil holder, okay? It swivels. And I'm also just, like, in love with the color of this. I just hope all this stuff comes together because I didn't want to go monochromatic. Like, I didn't want to get everything green, everything pink, everything... Like, I don't like one color. I wanted it to kind of flow together, be, like, 
you know, just like a multitude of colors. So I decided I would get orange for the pencil holder. And this is supposed to like, it swivel, you see, like so I can just spin it around and stuff. And this is where I'll keep all my pens, scissors, all that good stuff. This, like I said, they already gave us all this stuff. Like I don't want you to think I have to bring my own supplies. But it just wasn't my style. So I bought like this set and it came with a stapler, hole puncher, and like all these, all these are light blue. So I know this is all one color, but like I kind of wanted it, you know, some stuff can match. This stapler is super small though, I will say that. But yeah, this blue stapler, um, this little tape thing, and then whatever these are. I think they're just tabs. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, cute, cute, cute. I really wish I could show you all how I'm gonna decorate, but it's fine. Just, just envision it something very cute, okay? Okay. And I already put pictures up. I don't know if you all saw that in like a few vlogs ago. But I printed some pictures up of me and my loved ones. And people notice it. Like, a picture of me and my boyfriend, people were like, oh my god, is that him? Or like, showing my family. And I'm like, yes. I do come from my family of people that love me. Okay, this is like, <laughs> I'm so extra. But y'all see, I love a gold accent. Honestly, just a metallic accent in general, my frames. But I got this gold, I think this is called like a paper holder. But I actually do have a lot of papers on my desk not too many but they're all the one that they gave us at work is just a plain black plastic one and i wanted something a bit cuter so i got this gold one i'm packing all this back up because i'm literally about to drive this down to the office this i'm super excited about i honestly thought this was going to be bigger okay i'm kind of a little worried at this size because i don't think this was that cheap i mean like i said i used points to pay for all this but i think this was like you know, significant amount i can't really remember and i'm gonna try to link all this stuff down below but i got a mirror i don't want you guys to really see my setup but i got a little mirror and this has like a little stand on it and because i just feel like i need a mirror i need a mirror i honestly want a full-size mirror in there but you know we'll wait for that like <laughs> is it that deep jordan but i'm like you know i don't always want to have to go to the bathroom to just like look at myself and using your phone is awkward so i wanted to get a little mirror i thought it was going to be a bit bigger like i thought it was going to be like this i thought it said 10 inches but i guess it's eight inches or something i don't know but i just letting you know my first honest review is i thought it would be bigger and i think it might have a light on it i'm not sure okay now this i truly cannot remember oh this is my ergonomic laptop stand okay i already, actually already have one of these so i'll just show you the one that's already built okay so this is the one i use for my home office but for the one i got for work imagine this but in light green because again colorful so i got that just because i do need a laptop stand like we do have m big monitors and stuff but i still look at my laptop from time to time so i wanted a laptop stand but yeah that's my little office supplies i'm about to get out the door but yeah i hope everyone is having a great day A few moments later. Ten bad bitches in a match. Race on many rock on diamonds on me dance. When you work the bitches wanna leave me like some cat. And I'm drawers coming head. Last night, savage bitch, but no I'm not red. Get a with no condom, had to make her eat a plant. And I'm sipping on that cold not brand. A few moments later. I know I say this all the time, but it's freezing. Orange Theory kicked my butt this morning. I was already sore from the class I went to earlier this week, but this time I went to a different location with my homegirl. She tried it out. And she's signing up. So yeah, period. Get on the Orange Theory Wave. I'm gonna try to put my code in the description box. So if y'all sign up, you can like, you know, I can get some credit for it, I guess. But of course, I had to get to call your mother for me and my boyfriend. I know I just worked out, but I'm, I'm not more of a dieter. I'm more of a workout girly. So I pretty much eat whatever I want. Of course, in moderation, but I have a pretty 
consistent workout regimen and everything seems to be quite fine. And I cut out alcohol. No, I didn't. I literally got a happy hour tonight. But I try to be conscious of the alcohol more often. But anyway, let's get this day started. But I think I'm done vlogging for the day, but I'll probably catch up with y'all this weekend. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Good morning. Happy work from home Friday. I just threw on this crew neck. Go blue. And I'm literally just gonna wear boxers all day. I have two things due by lunch. One is due at 10 a.m. and one is due like around lunch. And I haven't started the one that's due at 3 a.m. so I need to like bust that out real quick. It shouldn't take long though. It's just like making minor edits. That's a lot of what I do as a junior, more junior person is just editing. So, you know, things change and as they change, the lawyers have to make edits, whether it's to a name, to a date to well we don't really edit we don't put the date until usually the end but you know you gotta edit stuff whether it's a price like stuff edit so i need to edit a document that's probably around like i'm just gonna do a ballpark and say it's like 50 pages because that's how long these things are on average so yeah i have to do that i also want to eat i didn't finish eating like the breakfast that i got like for when i got the call your mother my boyfriend ended up accidentally taking my order which is the inside out tuna melt 10 out of 10 highly recommend and he's allergic to seafood y'all so he couldn't even eat the tuna melt so i ate his because he loved it but he was just kind of hungry poor thing but anywho i got the tuna melt from him and now i need to reheat the tuna melt so i was googling how to even reheat a tuna melt and apparently i can put it in my air fryer so we're gonna see might be crazy if people you know people might think i'm crazy for eating a tuna melt for breakfast but i don't wake up craving oh i just can't wait to have some eggs and pancakes like no i'm i I like savory food like I will wake up 8 a.m. craving burrito tacos like I like savory food more than like sweet breakfasty stuff so and this tuna melt is so good okay I don't even like everybody's tuna but the call your mother inside out tuna melt you heard it here first people it's so good and you gotta mix both of the sauces for the latkes if you don't know what latkes are they're like a potato-y like kind of like a hash brown basically but they're so good but anyway yeah so let's get to work and then I have just like other stuff I need to get done today but yeah time to start work my apartment first of all y'all are so sideways it's a little better i gotta clean my apartment y'all can probably see i still have galentine stuff up i'm also have not unpacked from new york like i've been but this is my reset weekend so it's totally fine but i kind of wanted to do a little chat about time really quickly because a lot of people don't know this some people do know this I'll comment below if you already knew about the whole billable hours stuff but basically lawyers we are like human machines okay we have to make a receipt for every freaking thing that we do so we have to log our time and so what i some people do their time differently they'll just write down what time they start what time they did or like they just kind of have an idea of like what they did but i use timers so before i start anything click start timer and for each matter or like each little you can create your own little templates and stuff so yeah so you know i'm about to start a new project so i do my timer and then at the end of the timer you kind of have this little report message thing and you type in okay what did you do during the three hours that you spent on this and you kind of like write a little you know literally like a receipt okay emailed this researched for this checked this drafted this and that's how the client pays you because we are paid by the hour. Now, I get a salary, but the client is charged by the hour. And that's kind of how the firm makes money, how the partners make money and all that. I can get more into it later, but I have to get to work. But I just want, I was like, oh, dang, let me like explain like a little bit about timers for y'all. Let's see. Turned on my instrumental. We locked in now. Is he sticking with his feet? Is he changing? Is he about, I'm down to go on his feet, but you going. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. She said it's the thought that counts, but let's be real. You don't believe that shit, and she don't believe that either. If you can't afford that girl, just leave her alone, it's wiser. He doesn't trust this chick with a big voice, that's why he gaslights her and hides her. Just got chased in the whip, I'm good. Sang in the car to I'm a survivor. I'm a rider, London's hot, and that's a reminder we're gonna get him in. Okay, y'all, I look kind of crazy, and I have. These are my blue light glasses. Oh my god, my hair. But I wear these, oh come on now. Okay, I wear these while I do work to like help with the screen. But anyway, I finally have a break. I'm finally taking like my, I guess, lunch, ba lunch break, even though it's basically 3 p.m. It was kind of a busy morning. Like I had a freak out moment. I actually like called my boyfriend for reassurance because I was feeling overwhelmed because basically like in general terms, something that I thought was literally gonna take me maybe an hour ended up taking me like, a bit longer than that and I had something else due and it was just like 
you know, just like managing, I guess, getting assignments because I swear I was literally not busy. And so I was letting people know, like, hey, I'm not busy. Let me know if you need help with anything. And it kind of just got in my face, which that it just happens. And I actually prefer I'm somewhat being busy because the day goes by fast. And like, I just, I don't know. But sometimes it's like, it can just be overwhelming. So just, you know, note to self, like maybe only tell one person that I'm free and not several people. But you know, it's ha it happens. And, um, <clears throat> you know, communicated that. Boom, 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 wham, bam, we good. But no, what I wanted to tell y'all, what I wanted to tell y'all, what I've been doing. So right before this, I actually want to start getting um, laser hair removal. I've been talking about it for forever with my friends. And now that I'm making a little bit more money, I was like, why not get laser? Because I stopped getting waxing. I've told myself once I was done getting my wax pass, once I was done with my wax pass, I was done waxing because I wasn't seeing the results that I wanted to. Like, I was still getting occasional ingrown hairs. I was still like, it was, the hair was still growing back. Of course it's gonna grow back, but like it was, it just wasn't doing it for me really. So, and my friend who gets laser, she's like, girl, I have no ingrown hairs. Like everything is like, so I'm talking about your bikini area. I give no ingrown hairs. Everything is smooth. Everything is one color. Like the laser really does it. So I had already done a consultation for laser away months ago. Like I think I did the consultation like maybe while I was sitting for the bar and I was like planning on getting it as soon as I started my job. But then my job got delayed, like, you know, that whole story. And if you don't know, go watch the Get Ready With Me. But now that I am working, I did call them to like set up everything. And of course, I, I am like the dream customer for any business. If someone offers me something and they make it sound like a good deal, I'm like, oh yes, yes. Oh, you wanna add this? Add I'm like, yes, yes. So I went from just getting Brazilian to now I'm getting Brazilian underarms and legs. And that appointment is on Sunday. I'm so excited. She's gonna let me know if they have anything on Saturday, but I'm fine with Sunday. So you guys, we're gonna go get laser. This is not my first time getting laser. I don't know if I've ever vlogged it before, but when I first moved to LA in undergrad, I went started going to Sev Laser. I thought I was so cool because this was back in like 2016. Yeah, I started going to Sev Laser for my armpits and that just was a bad idea because I literally didn't have a car. So I was paying a college student, mind you, paying to Uber to Beverly Hills, get the laser done, pay for the laser, and then Uber back to Westwood. Like, no, so I only did that for like two sessions. So I'm excited to be a hairless person. And I wanted to start this ASAP because it's about to get warm. Like I need to start getting my sessions in. I'm nervous. But I'm excited at the same time because at least it's going to be basically like a semi-permanent solution. Like the hair is going to stop growing. And I'm hairy, y'all. Like I'm a hairy girl. Y'all saw me get my eyebrows done. Like, So I'm excited for this. Then I have my book club. Book club is tomorrow. So I sent something out because I want to do it in person. But I feel like since we did the first meeting on Zoom, I hope these bitches aren't lazy and are just like going to do Zoom for the whole time. Because it's supposed to be like a way for us to come together over a book. So I don't know if everyone is still going to come over here because it is middle of the day Saturday, but I hope they do and like I'll have wine and stuff and like we're going to get see seafood boiled. Maybe I'll get some cheese, but you no, know, I'm trying. I'm trying to facilitate. I like to facilitate group activities like I love just like tending to my community if y'all didn't notice. So we'll see. So far, no one has sent me any. Okay, if y'all didn't know, and I'm also curious about this with other groups, so let me know how y'all's friend groups do it. But like when I watch people whose friends, they do like group trips or group dinners i'm like how do they pay for that but for my friends we all will like put in so for example for galentine's i just said hey can everyone send me x amount towards food and drink and so same thing with this i said oh can everyone send me x amount towards book club if you're coming and no one has sent me anything yet so i don't know if anyone's coming. i know at least one person's coming so it might just be me and her here and then everyone else on zoom but we'll see it's okay either way then tomorrow morning i need to go shopping because i need a new suit okay y'all i gotta build my professional wardrobe so that's what's going on with me this friday it doesn't look like the end of my day is going to be too hectic i will say oh another work caveat that i want to tell y'all i was so stressed out yesterday just because it wasn't my first time but low-key it was my first time basically sending out like documents to get signed and i don't know why it's just so stressful for me to do stuff because it's like girl you're literally a lawyer like this is literally what you're supposed to do make a document and get people to sign it but something about it yo i was i was stressed i was like oh my god it was, it was my coworkers like can you look over this please please i don't know and they were like you know super helpful or whatever but i was just like 
Oh my god, little old me just sending it out. But, you know, everything went good. I can see, like, when they signed it and everything, and so far, so good. So, I guess that was a little milestone, because I've been working on that for the past couple weeks. So, signed, sealed, delivered. Low-key. It ain't ever done. So, sometimes it is, but this, this ain't done. But, it's in the works of being done. And I feel like it's my little baby because I was like really the person on this, so period. But yeah, I am just looking forward to have a Friday in. I think because I've just been like back and forth between here, my boyfriend's house, I just got back in town. Like I told you, I haven't even unpacked. So I'm staying my behind home these next few evenings. I don't want to go out Saturday night. I don't want to go out Sunday night. I'm just laying in my bed and reading my book i have like 40 more pages of the book to read before book club tomorrow so that'll be my homework tonight and then our next book is the carrie washington book so hopefully that's good i don't know if i've heard too many people talking about it i know it made new york times bestseller but you don't hear much about carrie washington for one which is also why i'm curious on this book no spoilers but let me know if y'all have read it but uh, anyway i need to figure out what the hell i'm about to eat because it's 3 p.m. and I have not eaten anything since breakfast because I've been busy. But that's okay. Busy is good. So that means like I'm doing something. Maybe I won't get fired yet. It's like psych, 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 psych. Okay, I gotta go. I'm rambling. suit today one of my friends she's not feeling too well so i'm gonna drop off some medicine to her i need to get gas and we might go grocery shopping it's a raining today so i don't think i want to go grocery shopping but um i'm gonna have book club today at three but book club's gonna be virtual because no one can make it in person but i just wanted to say hello i will i had such a good night last night like i love don't get me wrong i love the turn up i love partying with my friends but something about like a chill night at home where i'm in my space I loved it and the sushi was amazing. I wanna get some more today, but we'll see. So uh, yeah, let's get in this disgusting weather. It's raining outside. It's like raining and it's cold. So I'm not even gonna wear a purse here. I'm just gonna wear this like Lulu belt bag and my hair. It's kind of sweat. I mean, I've been working out this week, so honestly it's been holding up, but it's fine. But yeah, I'm kind of running late because I, I like to take my mom shopping with me because she has like a good eye, but also because she's my mom, that's my girl. Like I said, I'm trying to prioritize family time. This is perfect little mother-daughter shopping day and she lives really close by so I can just go scoop her and also she will drive maybe she'll pay for gas <laughs> I hate getting gas I do not like getting gas I try to get it when you know I'm with my boyfriend because he can pump it for me and all that but whatever I need to be a big girl and get this damn gas honey anyway, I'm running late because I told her I'd be there at 9 30 it's 9 08 and like I said I have like 30 miles which I probably could push it and make it but I'm kind of scarred y'all because I'm rambling but Tell me why one day, this was like, I think I was like 17, 16 or 17, but my car ran out of gas in the McDonald's drive-thru, okay, during morning rush, and I was stuck there. Like, everyone was pissed at me, and I ran out of gas, and I was like, bam. So let me just go get this gas and stop procrastinating.
cute. We have a bunch of stuff to try on. Did you want to get this sweater to try on these pants? No. Okay. Yeah, these are kind of high waters. Yeah. Like my ankle is fully out. Right. Yeah. But again, when I look on the website, all I see is these people. The models got on high waters. Things would be the thing now. High waters is the thing. That's what I'm picking up. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you got other stuff to try. Not really, mom. We really just got this blue. I mean, I can try on this top, but we have a winner. I'll just have to get these hemmed. A few moments later. Um, um, some of the chips. They have red Ooh, this is nice. Nice style. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think they give you that Santa Rosa. Hours later. Okay, y'all, it's a little later now, but I'm about to do book club virtually. So this is the book again that we finished reading. It's by Jane Allen called Black Girls Must Die Exhausted. Overall, I think I give it like maybe like a six to 6.8 out of 10. Like it was cool, it was cool, but I think it could have been better, but it's a good conversation book for sure. So I'm just about to log into the Zoom. Well, I am the host of the Zoom, so I gotta get that popping. And yeah, I'm excited to see everyone and talk about it. I'm coming real chill, like I'm keeping my bonnet on cause that's just how I'm feeling, it's a rainy day. But yeah, let's see how this is gonna go. It's kind of getting a provider before love, I feel like. So I'm not surprised that that's the mind frame like she went in it too and that she's also communicating to her daughter like you need to you need to focus on this stuff like okay book club was so much fun so wholesome and cute we finished talking about the book and now i'm about to start our next book which is thicker than water carrie washington's memoir for our list i wanted to mix up like fiction and nonfiction, just to switch it up so yeah, i'm going to start reading that now because i'm just chilling i decided i did not feel like going to the grocery store so i ended up just ordering some stuff on instacart because i'm pretty much back and forth between my apartment and my boyfriend's place i didn't want to go too hard with the groceries because like i i was saying before like a lot of my produce will go bad or like we'll eat out so i just kind of got like the essentials or like mainly stuff that i like won't go bad in like two days so yeah that's on the way i finished up my laser stuff so i'm just gonna have again like a chill night in i'm gonna read my book until i get like you know in it enough probably like the first like 30 50 pages and then i want to watch real housewives of potomac i need to catch up on that and then yeah i'm still watching desperate housewives but yeah y'all i think for dinner i'm just gonna have my leftovers that food was so good at that place we had la sandia the watermelon it was really good and wasn't that expensive i would go back so yeah but it's just gonna be me chilling a weekend in child which i i need because i'm still recovering and i just like to be to myself sometimes but yeah just gonna read this wait for my groceries to come and yeah i'm in for the night this is my saturday night the next day hey y'all i actually just got back from church it was a good word today good word but i just dressed like really chill to church like i wore these boots to kind of dress it up a bit but i've worn like uggs and stuff there and i just bring my tote bag because i like to bring my ipad to take notes but yeah now i'm back home and i realized on my to-do list for this weekend was to do my taxes not that i do them myself but i need to like send all the stuff over to the person who does my taxes so that's what i'm about to do now and then later today i have my laser appointment so i'm just gonna really chill clean up maybe 
do some laundry. I might just do laundry tomorrow because it's, no, it's, yeah, laundry tomorrow. Let's not do too much to the day. But yeah, let me just like get my laptop and get on there and send her all my tax documents and hopefully it's a good year for me. Okay, you guys, I'm in the parking lot right now. About to go to Laser Away to get Laser. I am got all the tax stuff done, by the way. I sent it over, so hopefully that's good. And like, I had to shower and like shave everything. So I feel really ashy because I can't put lotion on. I can't put deodorant on. So we're about to see how this goes. I'm super nervous though. Like when I was signing the waiver, it just seemed like I was signing my life away. So we'll see how the pain is. I'm also making a TikTok on the experience. So make sure y'all follow me on TikTok. I think I have the same name there. But yeah, we're gonna start this journey, you guys. A laser hair removal journey. So let's go. I just look like. I would give the pain a 10. Um, a lot of people do tell you it's not that bad and things like that, but me personally, it hurt it really, 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 really bad. All right, y'all, I'm back home, and basically, let me tell you how it went. It did hurt. It wasn't, like, terrible, though. Like, some areas were more sensitive to, than others, but I guess I was literally expecting to feel nothing. You don't feel nothing. You feel like a... But it's, like heat but like at the same time you feel heat they're blowing something cold so that kind of helps the good thing is she was really fast so it wasn't bad um but yeah i had to cancel my orange theory class that i had scheduled for the morning because you can't work out for 24 hours or else you'll get like an infection and that was <laughs> it's never that serious and i'm honestly still sore anyway but if you have any questions about it definitely comment below i'll be back there in six to eight weeks but i'm excited for like to be hairless like i'm literally so excited i've been wanting this for a really long time so i'm glad i'm getting it but thank you all so much for watching this vlog don't forget to comment down your favorite three emojis and i will see you in the next one bye